Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we'll be taking a look at our Inno roof rack system with the 51 inch long aero crossbars and the Inno through feet for raised rails right here on our 2019 Jeep Cherokee. So you're ready to take your Jeep Cherokee out on adventures. Maybe you want to carry a roof box or a roof mounted bike rack or even kayaks. What you then need is a roof rack system, kind of like what we have here. So this is going to be the Inno roof rack system with the 51 inch long crossbars. So this is going to be your middle of the road in terms of versatility. So length of crossbars, too much overhang, too little overhang. We'll talk about things like that. That way you can see what is the best fit in terms of brand as well as crossbar length for you and your different types of adventures. I usually prefer getting longer crossbars, that way we have a bit more overhang and we get to fully utilize the crossbar system. But the 51 inch long crossbars here, while they're not the longest, are actually a pretty good balance. In terms of overhang, from the tower to right before the end cap for the front crossbar, it's going to be two and a quarter inches. This is going to depend on where you have your crossbar sitting in terms of front or rear of your vehicle, but still a pretty good height. If you have longer overhang, it may be easier for shorter people like me to reach it. And then you can also put your accessories around the overhang too. Now, when speaking of overhang, when people say low profile, they actually usually mean that they're flush feet where they end right over here, which makes it seem more aerodynamic. I actually considered this a low profile crossbar though, because it doesn't sit too high up above your Cherokee's roof. Taking those measurements, it's gonna be the height from the top of the roof to the bottom of the crossbar. It's gonna be about three inches, and that's gonna be the space for your clamps that go around the crossbar. So plenty of clearance there. The second measurement is the height added to the top of the roof. That's going to be about four and a quarter inches. And that's going to be where your accessories sit. So if you have skis, your snowboards, some with extra large bindings, you want enough clearance so they don't hit the roof. Now let's talk about crossbar spread. So that's the distance from one crossbar to the others. I set mine to about 25 inches. That just seemed like a pretty good number for different types of accessories, but you can push this out. And I would like to say that the longest or the maximum range for crossbar spread would be about 32 inches if you push it all the way through. So not the most in terms of range, but still will work with most of your accessories. These are gonna be the aero bars. So compared to the traditional round and square crossbars that were really noisy and had a lot of wind drag, these have a more aerodynamic style. And that means less wind drag, less wind noise on the road. These also have the T-track system. So if you push in on that rubber seal, you can actually put your T-track accessories through and then it fits around it. So this does have a weight capacity of 165 pounds. Now remember when talking about weight capacity, you have to think of the full picture though. So calculate your cargo weight, your accessory weight, and then the weight of your roof rack system. Total that all up and make sure it doesn't actually exceed your actual vehicle weight capacity. One of my favorite parts about the inner crossbars are gonna be the end caps. They have this really nice shiny accent that fits really well with our Jeep Cherokee's trim. But other than that, they help protect the crossbar and make it easier for you to insert your T-Track accessories. Now the crossbar itself is not lockable, but the tower is. So you are gonna get four locks for the four towers. You're gonna have two keys that are key to like, and these allow you to pop that off and install your roof rack system. You don't need any tools. This has everything you need to install everything. So speaking of the install process, it's gonna be super simple since you do just have the four towers and the crossbars. There are some extra things that I personally recommend adding though. One is gonna be the Moki doorstep. That's gonna give you that extra height and traction. The other is gonna be a set of straps. That way, once you do have your car go up on there, you can strap them down. We have some e-trailer cam buckle straps that will do the job. Now, let's take a look at that install process. 
So the install process is super duper easy since you do have the through feet. So if you do have these crossbars and these towers, I already installed the rear crossbar. We'll install the front crossbar together. The first step is to get your towers onto your crossbars. So then our towers have these tabs. This fit right into the tray of our crossbar. You may have to push that tray forward. So just fit those tabs in, making sure that the strap is open towards the outside. Push that through. So do the exact same thing on the other side. And now the next step is just to put this onto your roof. So I have these straps open on the other side. I'm just gonna feed them around our rails, just kinda get them set up before I take measurements and figure out where exactly I want them. First thing you're gonna do is choose a crossbar spread. Since you have raised rails, it's completely up to you and your accessories where you wanna put your crossbars. So from one crossbar to the another, let's put it at around, let's give it 24 inches. That seems like a good, reasonable space there. So we have that there and you're gonna measure for overhang. So end of tower to the end of crossbar, making sure you push that tower in. We're gonna make sure that this number here is gonna be even on both sides. And once you've done all your measurements, the final step is to tighten it down. So just put that strap up into that tab and tighten it with the included lever. So I honestly like to do this where I do it a little bit on this side, and then I tighten it down on the other side, then I go back here. Not as big as a deal for race rails, but still a really good habit to have. Once you confirm that everything is tightened down, you've double checked all four towers, your final step is to put the end caps on. So there's gonna be end caps for your crossbars, as well as end caps for your towers. These are gonna be lockable, so put the key in, just pop them into place, right there, and then twist the key to secure it. So once all four are locked, that's it. You're ready to load up your new roof rack and hit the road. Comparing this roof rack system with some other roof racks or other brands that you can get for your Jeep Cherokee, is in terms of crossbar length, I think this is a really good balance. We had a good enough overhang, but if you want more overhang, let's say you wanna carry kayak carriers that have load assist, this actually is not enough. You would need at least four inches of overhang if you wanna carry something like the Thule Hullivator or the Yakima Showdown. So check out our longer crossbars if you do like this system, but just need a little bit more length. Now another option for you is gonna be something, let's say from Rhino Rack. That one is a little sturdier in terms of looks, as well as you can't really get that wrong in terms of installing it. It's gonna be the easiest roof rack system to install. So if you need something that's even faster than this, the Rhino Rack Vortex Aero Crossbar System is a good thing to look into. So check those out here at eTrailer. Please use our fit guide. That way you get the proper fit for you and your Jeep Cherokee. But this right here was a look at our inner roof rack system with the 51 inch long crossbars and the inno through feet for raised rails right here on our 2019 Jeep Cherokee. My name is Evangeline and I hope you enjoyed the journey.